Hey guys, Sean here from Visible Dark. Thanks for tuning in. This video today is the L Enhance filter versus the L Extreme filter. We're going to see which one is better. Uh, I know there's a lot of talk about the L Extreme filter right now, and uh, but people are also asking, you know, they're saying, oh, I want to buy an L Enhance filter because it costs less. Um, so we're going to explore these two different filters. Both are cost-effective filters, really. Uh, the L Extreme is more expensive, but they're both cost-effective, and they both do a really good job at cutting through light pollution, and they both um, give you the opportunity to image a wide variety of deep sky objects, um, even under moonlight. So people are wondering, which filter do I go with? Well, the L Enhance filter is, it's been referred to as a dual band filter, but really I think of it as a tri-band filter because it captures uh, H-alpha, H-beta, and oxygen-3. The new L Extreme filter is a dual band filter. It only captures H-alpha and O3, those two specific wavelengths. But these two filters do it quite differently. So let's have a look at what that difference is so we get a better idea, and then we can make a more informed decision as to which one we're going to buy. These are the filter curve charts, and uh, this shows for the L Enhance filter, this one here, and this is for the L Extreme filter. Uh, what we're looking at is the emission lines, and we're getting over 90% uh, transmission from both filters in the uh, emission lines that they cover. The L Enhance filter, though, uh, we'll notice that, it, like I said, it encompasses the O3 and the H beta as well as the H alpha. The um, L Extreme is strictly, it's uh, cutting out the H beta and it's strictly going after the O3 and the H alpha lines. Now, the L Enhance filter, the um, wavelengths that it captures at is a little wider. You can see that these curves are, are wider than the L Extreme filter. So, the, the L Extreme filter having more narrow curves means that um, it's operating at different nanometers, and this is true. The L Enhance filter um, operates at uh, 24 nanometers for the O3 and the H beta, and at 10 nanometers for the H alpha, versus the L Extreme, which is operating at 7 nanometers for both the, H, uh, sorry, both the O3 and the H alpha. Um, so what does that translate into? Well, the L Extreme is going to be uh, more specific. It's going to isolate those uh, wavelengths more specifically, and you're going to end up with um, a better result, really, in the end, um, because the, it, the L Extreme isn't letting in a lot of other wavelengths of uh, light, and uh, most notably any uh, light pollution and stuff which might exist at the 24 nanometer range. Um, it's completely, uh, it's, it's almost completely, the L Extreme is almost completely notching it out. So you're able to get a much more, um, contrasty, uh, more vivid, um, result from the L Extreme filter than the, than the L Enhance filter. Both of these are good filters. And as I said, it could just boil down to your budget too. Uh, you're going to get a good result from the L Enhance filter. You're going to get a good result from the L Extreme filter. So let's have a look at an image. So what I did here was I shot using the same telescope and same camera. I shot two hours of data. Uh, these are five minute subs. And I shot two hours total using the L Enhance filter on the Witch's Broom and this is the result that I got and it looks great we can see the uh, the H alpha the red and we can see the uh, oxygen 3 which is the teal color uh, it's 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 doing a really good job in isolating these wavelengths H beta you don't really get much contribution from H beta so I wouldn't be concerned about the fact that the L Enhance captures H beta. What I would be considering though is the wavelengths that it operates at, which is a little wider than the L Extreme. Uh, and you'll see why uh, in a second here. So this is the L Enhance image, uh, two hours total on the Witch's Broom. And this is the L Extreme image, uh, again, two hours total on the Witch's Broom. 
Now we can certainly see quite a difference between these two. So this is the L Enhance and this is the L Extreme. The L Extreme is, is picking up a lot more of the Oxygen 3 as we can see. If we go back again we can see the difference between so it's picking up a lot more oxygen three. It's being a lot more specific in terms of the emission channels um, operating at seven nanometers for H alpha and O3. The narrower bands that the uh, L extreme operates at, the seven nanometers for the H alpha and the O3, uh, will give you a significant reduction in light pollution uh, as well as uh, boosting contrast. So I own both these filters, so I don't have to make a choice. Uh, but if I if I was making a choice, I think really my choice would be the L Extreme filter, and uh, it just does a better job in capturing those wavelengths that we're interested in when we're shooting these types of objects, these uh, uh, nebulas. Uh, in this case, a supernova remnant, but uh, uh, these objects that have H alpha, strong H alpha, and strong O3 signals, uh, even if the object doesn't have strong O3 signal, the L Extreme is going to be better at capturing that than the L Enhance because the L Extreme is operating at 7 nanometers, a more narrow, uh, more specific, more focused wavelength for the O3. So let's bring these side by side uh, just so that we can actually get a, a really good comparison here. Uh, we'll see the difference instead of flipping back and forth. We'll, we will uh, we'll just sit them side by side and then we will be able to um, have a, a look at them. I'm just going to have to overlap it a bit here for the screens, but we can see here's the L Enhance and here's the L Extreme. So both two hours. I think the um, I think the overall image looks nicer. I think it looks better that, with the L Extreme than it does with the L Enhance, uh, in my opinion. And that's interesting because, as I said, uh, both uh, both images shot with the same gear, um, same amount of time. So definitely the L Extreme is the way to go if it's in your budget. Uh, the L Extreme filter, I believe, runs for uh, about three hundred and nine dollars U.S. and the L Enhance filter is uh, two hundred and twenty nine dollars U.S. So a little bit of a difference between them in terms of pricing. Not a huge amount, but I think that the L Extreme is justified in being the better filter. And I might, I would spend a little more. If I was already spending $229 to spend $300, not that big of a difference. So, uh, and, and I get a much better result. Um, I think it would be a better investment for my uh, Astro equipment uh, to get the L Extreme. So that's my opinion. Let me know what your opinion is, of course. Um, and I'm sure you guys will chime in as you uh, always do, which is fantastic. Okay, so there you have it. I hope this video was helpful, informative. Uh, which way are you going to go? Are you going to go with the L Enhance or are you going to go with the L Extreme? Uh, as I said, I know you guys will chime in, so comment below. Let me know. Uh, I'll be very curious to see what everyone has to say. And uh, I hope that uh, everyone's getting some clear skies. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay, take care.